Hi, I'm Janet Zevlin, and you're here with Popcorn, and uh, this is an exclusive interview. Yes, you can hear one of them now, it's actually going on in the background. Um, I'm playing some of the stuff that may potentially make the next record. Um, the next record is, t is currently titled Holy Water, and it's this idea Funnily enough, we're in a church, but it's like this whole idea of confessionals and that to be fully reconciled for one sin, you must tell another person and you have to admit it to yourself. So I feel if I write the songs down, I'm admitting it to myself, but by releasing the songs, I'm letting other people hear it. So I'm confessing my sins to them. So obviously it will all be bathed in metaphor, so no one's going to really know what I've done, but I will feel like I've said so. Now you're, so you went for five trips. Yes. Um, absolutely loved it with Delaware. Um, yeah. Brilliant hotel with a cool um, <laughs> Yeah. High five to that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, how was it for you, like, just touring around? Um... The whole thing's been amazing because the album Run of Mrs. Zeros only came out in February yeah. over there, actually. So that meant I was doing the promo cycle out there. Um, and it was just, like, there's been four promo trips and I had a trip to LA but I can't say what that trip to LA was for just yet. The music itself and I've been received really well over there as well which is really nice because I really like it out there. <laughs> like how did it feel um, through the audition process? Oh gosh it was hard because you don't really know how it's going because you know that there's when you're there, there's like hundreds and hundreds of people getting through and you're like, oh, does anyone, will I ever make it to t TV? Because you know that like a very small percentage of people actually make it to the television. So I was like, I don't know, it was a bit surreal. I was very scared, obviously. Like 16 year old Janet was a bit of a terrified of humans, really. <laughs> so it was very, but I needed to do something like that because I was too shy for my own good, really. Yeah. I, I got on really well with Gary. He was always in the house on a Monday morning and I would always come downstairs and he made me a cup of coffee, which is nice. Uh, you know, he was like, he's a songwriter. He's like one of probably England's most successful songwriters, to be honest. And uh, we'd just talk about the songwriting process. Uh, he told me a couple of bits of knowledge that, I don't know, I just needed to hear. I'm not going to share them though. Just do it. I sound like Shia LaBeouf. Just do it! Uh, but no, seriously, like, when I was growing up, I didn't think this was a possibility. Never thought that I could make music for a living. Never thought that this could be a job. But it is. And it is a real thing. All you have to do is just set your goals, set them ridiculously high. Because if your dreams aren't big enough and they don't scare you, they're not. They're not. Your dreams aren't big enough if they don't scare you. So aim high and just keep your head down and keep working. That's really it. Is Courtney Love to be <laughs> Yeah. Um, in Bloom. In Bloom. Yeah, she, for the first time ever, gave the rights to a Nirvana song to be played on national television, which has never happened before, but it's apparently because we're related, which is a very long story. Uh, you know, so I haven't looked too far into it because I think it's really cool to ha even be the possibility that I'm related to Kirk Cobain. How does she even know about that? Uh, she has access to all of his ancestry and stuff. Wow. So, yeah. Did you find her? Whoop, whoop. Family reunion. <laughs> what have you got planned for Christmas? Go home to Ireland, see my family. Well, actually, some of my family are coming tonight. Oh, They've come all the way from Ireland. Is that amazing? It is amazing. But... Uh, from Ireland, like, from Ireland and have... uh, Tyrone. Tyrone. Yeah, so it's for, uh, Oma. And uh, they've come all the way over, which is quite a track, to be honest. But um, yeah, I'm so excited to see them. Oh my god, I want to meet Ed Sheeran. Really? I want to get a ginger photo with Ed Sheeran. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, that'd be fantastic. That's like too much ginger for the world to handle, but I think that would be cool. I think they'll have to handle it. They will. They will have to handle it. <laughs> I love it. Me. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, I better get back to the singing malarkey. Yeah, cool. <laughs>